cries of babies echoing in the hospital waiting room. Moms waiting patiently with their little ones. Years of fighting has left widespread devastation in the world's youngest nation, making it difficult to access basic health care. Lack of resources make it difficult for the state-run hospital in Bentu, in northern South Sudan, to cope with the influx of patients. Here, they treat about 400 people, many women and children, every day. The United Nations Ghanaian Peacekeeping Battalion has donated essential medical equipment and supplies to help the hospital continue providing medical care to the vulnerable local community. We try to reach out to the local community to find out uh, where they have problems and where they have difficulties so that we factor them in planning for our systemic activities. Curable diseases like malaria can become life-threatening if not treated. Malaria test kits and the other items donated by the UN peacekeepers will indeed help save lives. Those who run the hospital welcome that support. Today is not the first time. They, they come uh, on May in the human day, uh, the world, in the world Peace Day. They come and they clean the hospital and they help us with many with the closing of the fence of the hospital because there was job on it. And now this is the second time they come to equip our lab with the equipment that they brought. As well as helping patients, the Ghanaian troops also hope to help rehabilitate the hospital building. To do this, they face the challenge of transporting building materials from the capital Juba along roads severely damaged by war and weather. But that is a challenge the peacekeepers are confident they'll overcome for the sake of the people of Bentu.